So today I saw a comment on a YouTube video that was requesting a proof of the dot product using the definition. So I decided to do a short video explaining um, why the dot product, which seems obvious to us who've taken calculus or um, know anything about vectors, but you know, why, why is the dot product formula what it is? So today I'm going to briefly explain a geometric proof. So the dot product here, we're interpreting geometrically as this formula, which is a dot b equals the magnitude of A times the magnitude of a, B times cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors. So for the purpose of this proof, I'm considering A as a vector by itself, and B as a vector by itself, and theta sub A is this angle here, and theta sub B is this angle here, which you will see later on. So for the, pr for the purpose of this proof, it is useful to consider what I will call A sub X a sub y, b sub x, and b sub y. So a sub x is just going to be the length of this here along the x-axis, and a sub y is going to be along the y-axis. And the same goes for b. So this is just a component-wise vector decomposition of these angles here, or of these vectors here, excuse me. So using these, I'm going to begin the proof here. So a dot b is equal to a times b, times cosine of theta a minus theta b. So using the definition of, using the definition of the difference of, um, the difference of angles here, we can expand this out to be a times b times quantity cosine of a cosine of b plus sine of a sine of b, or excuse me, cosine of theta a cosine theta b, etc. So now we, I did two steps here at once. I distributed out the a, b in front of both of the cosine and sine terms, and I grouped them according to variables. So you see here what I have is a times cosine of theta sub a times b cosine theta sub b plus a sine theta sub a times b sine theta sub b. So you see here I have the cosines grouped together, and I have the variables, the corresponding variables a and a here, and b and b here all grouped together. And so this simplifies down to using the definitions I established over here of the vector-wise, uh, the component-wise vector decompositions, I can simplify this down to ax bx plus ay by. So this example is just in two dimensions, but we can generalize this into k, to any vector of k elements using the following formula, which is something that um, we are, we are more familiar with is the algebraic interpretation of the dot product, which is the following sum from n equals 1 to k of a x sub n times b x sub n, which is just a generalization of what you see here. So that's just a simple proof that I came up with of the dot product. So thank you for commenting.